Yes, they are beautiful creatures at the moment, though. Uh, difficult to appreciate that because they are fast asleep in some fairly long grass, but you sure can see that this is a big, big male lion. And he's not alone. He's got two of his coalition partners nearby, held it up together. There you can see their two heads. All three of these guys have massive manes. I've actually never seen them together, and I'm hoping they decide to possibly get up and show us how magnificent they actually are. But for now, it seems they are taking some time to rest. I've just had some very interesting information from another guide who said he saw these three coal coalition members yesterday on the eastern side of the Mara River quite far from here actually and what that means is that these guys went swimming sometime last night in order to get to where they are here and that's something that I would really love to witness lions are typically not the biggest fans of water to, so to see three big males have to cross the Mara River would be something very very interesting indeed now I'm sure they've got their set crossing points where they feel more safe and comfortable because even them will feel a little bit nervous crossing these rivers with the ginormous crocodiles that inhabit them. And they won't be the first big male lion to be killed by a crocodile if that was to happen. They don't seem very full-bellied, so maybe they've been focusing on chasing away other coalitions that may be moving into the area. Maybe that's why they crossed the river and headed further east to further their territory we don't know enough about them just yet but it is something we will get to know as the weeks and months roll by lucas you would like to know how many of them are in this coalition as far as i'm aware it's just the three of them one of which is called fang oh sorry lucas i didn't quite understand your question you'd like to know how many lions it would take to make up a coalition Two. So even uh, as long as they're not alone, they will become a coalition. The same goes with cheetah. So whether it's two or ten or twenty, as long as there's more than one, they will be considered a coalition. Obviously, the, their strength and their dominance will depend on how many of them there are. And these three are responsible for... The little fur balls that we would have, well, in theory, are responsible for the little fur balls we saw early on drive. Their territory does encompass the Angama Pride's territory. And they have on one or two occasions, not me personally, but I think Jamie has seen these males come in and spend some time with the Angama Pride. I don't think it's been all three of them. Another useful bit of information about these three is that they love this open area. We are just kind of east of the Barimoko Swamp, and I have seen them only in this area. So every time I've seen them, they've been basically within a kilometer of where we're looking at them now. Pancake, hello. You would like to know if the color of the mane has an impact on kind of dominance or strength, and not necessarily, no. It, it all comes down to actual body size and whether they teamed up with other coalition members but whether it's a blonde mane, ginger mane, black mane that doesn't have a huge huge impact on dominance it's more about what those males do and whether they're fortunate enough like I say to have coalition members to further bolster their strength as individuals what I can tell you is that from the few big males that I have seen here in the Mara is there are a very, very impressive genes and there are some ginormous maned lions. Some of their manes, there's kind of three different types of manes. You get some with shorter manes, not as big and circus-like as some of the other individuals. And then some with manes that are kind of your typical lion mane, just a big full head of mane. And then you get some like Scar, whose manes actually flop forward in the front, like they've got a front parting from the middle of their head forwards. It's a style us as humans haven't really adopted, but maybe something that will become more trendy in the future.